let's talk about this. Preparing for the co-pilot agent engineering role, which is a new role. And it's very difficult because it's a new role. And secondly, because this whole low code, no code revolution isn't really well defined in the real world yet. Now we're getting there, but it's going to take some time. So here's a great job that I found, the key responsibilities. So obviously, Copilot Studio, you're going to have to know that, right? Collaborate with stakeholders. This is just stakeholders, people in the business, and they're different verticals, uh, HR, accounting, whatever, and gather requirements for the agents, right? Including a chat bot for employees to access company policies. Now, this, this is really is the role. This is what you're going to be doing as a Copilot Studio agent engineer. You're going to be going into companies and creating agents for their different verticals, for HR, right, for accounting. We've already been through this. Automate. Here we go. This is the hiring process, right? So automation of the hiring process belongs to HR, right? So you're going to be creating an HR bot. Well, actually here, you might be creating an HR bot, right? And then within that agent right so you have a sub agent and he will be the hiring process agent all right there we go streamline whatever this process is implement natural language understanding yeah you, you don't have to implement natural language understanding the model's already created all you have to do you have to do two things you have to understand prompt engineering and fine tuning that's all you have to understand and to be honest all you really have to understand is prompt engineering Integrate agents with relevant data sources. Yes. All right. Well, this is easy because uh, within Copilot, they have these things called uh, connectors. They're called connectors, and there are a billion of them. And that's exactly what they do, right? They'll connect to all these different data sources within the organization. Test, debug, redefine. Yeah, I mean, this is what you'll be doing. All right, great. So this is a really good job description. Now, over here, we have another one. Uh, technical team lead. Power. All right. So... Obviously, the number one, you're going to have to be, I mean, you're going to have to know Copilot like the back of your hand. And you're going to have to be able to build agents and understand all the intricacies of that, right? Uh, prompt engineering. You're going to have to understand uh, fine-tuning. You're going to have to understand you know, everything that goes along with that. So within the Copilot agents is this power platform, and this is a, a specific to Microsoft. So it looks like you're going to have to know power platform this is on almost every job requirement all right creating sandboxes i don't know why this is here this is not something you'll do as an agent engineer this is something that happens in fabric this is what the data engineers decide or what they build they will build these sandboxes in these environments you you will just set up agents within those environments uh governments and and yep again you'll have to know that and this is all things you'll learn uh, when you're learning Copilot Studio. Yep. Yeah. Dataverse, again, part of Copilot Studio. Yep. Copilot Studio. All right. So you can see a lot of it's Copilot Studio. So you're going to have to know bonus if you know uh, SAP. Yeah, no one's going to know that. Where do you get started? So you get started by learning Copilot, obviously, because you're going to have to know Copilot really well. And that is what my school is going to be about. Learning all the facets of Copilot to become a agent engineer on the slow code platform. So what do we have done here? This is one of the uh, courses that you'll have to take within my school. And this is on prompt engineering. So if you're not familiar with prompt engineering and you want to get a head start, it would be a good idea for you to start learning prompt engineering, right? Because that's something you're going to have to know. And when you look at all these uh, definitions, then what are these things within prompt engineering? Yeah, you're going to have to know this, right? Yes, and, and not like a read over it and go, oh, yeah, I get it. Uh, I understand a prompt engineering. No, you're going to, in a technical interview, they're going to ask you, what are the five steps for prompt engineering for a great system prompt? And you're going to have to talk through these, all right? Again, hopefully I'll have my school set up soon. Uh, secondly, you're going to have to know Power Platform. So if you want to get started there, in terms of uh, certifications, I don't have that ironed out yet. Uh, many of these listed like only two certifications and both were Power Platform. Uh, there is no Copilot Agent certification or, or Copilot certification that I saw that 
would make sense. And specifically for us, there is no Copilot Studio certification. So there will be. It just It's just so new that it, it's not there yet. So if you want to get a head start, I would say start learning Copilot and certainly start learning prompt engineering.